Good morning, everyone, and we have a very warm welcome to you. My name is Dee Backman Hoyle. I'm the MC for today. Part of my role is to make sure that you are comfortable and that you walk away with something of value for yourselves today. And as it should be, the first event that's going to happen this morning is our Welcome to Country, and we are absolutely privileged to have Auntie Joy Murphy here, who has been conducting a smoking ceremony outside. Is that the correct way to say it? A smoking. A, a, sorry, barbering. 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 Yes. Smoking ceremony could be taken the wrong way, couldn't it, really, by some people? <laughs> anyway, Auntie Joy is here and she will share with us um, her wisdom. And uh, Auntie Joy, for those of you who don't know, is a Wurundjeri woman, Wurundjeri elder and is part of the Kulin Alliance. Auntie Joy. Thank you. Thank you. Um, I'd like to begin by saying that I, I am a woman and very proud to be one. Barbanin Yalingbu, um, Lerik Wurundjeri Balak, uh, Waminjaka Wurundjeri Balak, Yemen Kundi Bek, which is just literally says that um, I am who I am. We've just been introduced, um, and I'm very proud to be here on the ancestral lands of my father and my ancestors. And I pay my respects to all of our communities, both past and present, and to any and all of you, especially our Indigenous people that might be with us today. If you're far from home um, and you're missing family, my heart goes out to you as well. This morning I did conduct a bum bearing ceremony, which is a cleansing ceremony. It's about removing what is needed. It's about, if you like, removing those bad spirits, those evil spirits that keep on our shoulders or just leave this hard rock in our stomach, as I've had many times. And it's also very importantly and significantly about returning the, spirit, uh, the spirits of our ancestors back to their resting place. It's a thing for us having bitumen and buildings built on traditional land that we always remember those who have gone before us because they too walked on this land but on this country, not on bitumen and not with buildings. But for you to be a part of that ceremony, I hope that perhaps whatever is needed in your life, that it, is, it helps you in some way. The balm bearing, of course, is conducted with um, eucalypt leaves and uh, our belonging is the Manigam people, although I have no idea what eucalypt branch I have in front of me. Um, it's also very significant because it comes from my place where I live, where thousands of generations before me lived and indeed as a great-grandmother three generations beyond me. I am the senior elder of the Wurundjeri people at this time and in some ways it's uh, quite a burden. Um, I can never be the headman, uh, headman or the Narangita, but I take that um, in that it has always been known to be a Kulin world, a man's world, um, and I respect the way that my ancestors worked with that tradition. When we talk about disorders or the fact that, um, you know, we all need to have a tag um, it, when there's a diagnosis of something, we all have, well, for me certainly, I have um, some ifs and buts about that. But uh, for our people, as um, when there was no such tags, it was a matter of your inner self, your spirituality, your belief, and of course, there was an even more deeper thing that if you had done the wrong thing, then truly your punishment was severe. So you could call that um, a disorder as well in, a, in our traditional ways. But for today, um, our people, along with you, share what is known as disorders. And to each and every one of you that take your part in whatever way, um, can I say to you a huge thank you. 
I just know for all of our men and women that are incarcerated at this time that 95% of them get diagnosed as bipolar and uh, I'm not sure that that tag um, is appropriate or even fits. My people have walked this land, as I said, uh, for thousands of years and in no way known was it a land that needed to have um, a direction. Their own, their own way of living and surviving for all of those years was indeed by the seasons. The seasons, not the months, not the days, not the years. There was no such thing. But at this time of year for us, um, in our seventh season, it's called the Buath Garu, which is the flowering grass season. And quite a beautiful time, I think, that um, where, where we might commonly recognise that as spring, is it is a time where there is lots of mating going on, where um, animals and birds are finding their friends. And it's also about those beautiful grasses that will now grow um, and for us to be aware that those gra grasses have a purpose and like this country needs to be nurtured. And I know for me that uh, having my children, grandchildren and great-grandchildren is indeed a responsibility that I carry through my culture to continue to look after what has been given to each and every one of us. These branches of leaves are, are the symbol of welcome to you um, uh, from our traditional custom of using, branch, using many branches of the eucalypt for seating purposes um, when ceremony was taking place. I'm taking this leaf on your behalf as I speak, but indeed I'll leave these branches should you wish to take your own leaf. In accepting this leaf, and I hope that you do, it means that you are welcome to everything from the tops of these trees to the roots of the earth. It means that we share with you the spirit of who we are and what we have to offer. And that is it. It's that vastness that exists. It's that spirit of that vastness which we very much want to share with you. And now today we would like you to join with us. Personally, I'd like to thank you should you accept this leaf because it means that you've joined with me to pay your respects to my father and my ancestors of this land. I wish you well and uh, one day let's hope that um, we can all live in harmony and that each of us will and those beyond us will know that respect is the greatest um, of humanity. My language is the Woi Wurrung, Women Jaka, Wurundjeri Balak, Yemen, Kundibik. You are most welcome to the traditional lands of the Wurundjeri people. Thank you. Thank you, Auntie Joy. Before you leave the stage, please, you've started our day with such a beautiful tone and will for us to want to work together in the way that we need to. Can we offer you a small gift, please? Um, I'd like to introduce you to Julian MacDonald, who is the chairperson of the Borderline Personality Disorder Foundation and also the executive director of Tandem. So on behalf of all of us here at this conference, please take this with our gratitude. Thank you. And thank you, Joy, for that very uplifting um, introduction and welcome. Thank you very much. Right.